I'm, uh, I want to do just a short video here of a subject that is very important to everyone. It's, I know it's important to me, and I've had a lot of people ask me about such a thing. And so I want to do just a short video about knowing God and knowing Christ. People don't know how to do it, they say. Uh, and, you know, it's really tough. We, we try to live our lives and we have our weaknesses and we're always messing up. And In the scriptures, it talks about people who have their hearts uh, so that they want to do good continually and not want to do evil. Does that mean they're perfect and they're doing good continually? No, it means they want to. And so if you are striving to be like Christ and having faith in him, your desire is to be like him. And so when you fail, which we all do, I know I do, you correct it as soon as you understand that you have done something that he is not happy with. You know, we can't, if we want to be like him, we have to act like him. The Sermon on the Mount talks about a lot of things of, of how you can be like him. And the one that's really hard for people is to love your enemies and to do good to those that despitefully use you. So that means that when there's people that are not being nice to you, you're not justified in being mean back. You're not justified in hating them. You're not justified in, in, in casting them away from you. Because he says you should love them and do good to them. Okay, how are you going to do good to someone who you don't want to be around? And, and even if the goodness is only saying hello with a smile. I know I've had examples in my life where I've had people I've worked with or neighbors that have been very unpleasant and so I, I kind of make sure that I say hello and smile and say stuff to them even though they might grumble back because eventually they can change I know one guy at a job I had it took a took a long time took several months <laughs> until he started to be happy when I would say hi to him instead of grumbling at everybody and finally he got to be quite happy and friendly and and so you can help people turn just do your best to follow the beatitudes and and uh, in in Corinthians when it talks about what love is ah, it's not easy I know I have my problems with it and, and but it, it is necessary so but you're not going to do it all right all perfect okay but you want to so just worry about that part and keep the commandments the best you can. And then you can know God. And it talks about in the scriptures that you will see his face and know that he is. Okay. Does that happen to everybody in this life? No. It happens to some. But eventually, you'll see his face, maybe after you die. Uh, and you'll know that he is. And you're, and you're fine. So don't judge yourself so harsh. I'm very good at being judgmental on myself and how unworthy or how not important or whatever I, I keep thinking that I, can, I am and... But I can't do that. I mean, I, I'm trying to get over it. And if you can get over it, quit condemning yourself so much and look at the good. When I was with Christ, he only looked at the good. He didn't, he didn't look at all the bad stuff. I did, but he didn't. He didn't make me feel wicked. And he didn't say, dang, 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 you know, you do all these bad things and so I'm going to damn you. He said, look at all these great good things you've done. Isn't that wonderful? And so it's a positive thing that he does. And 
So we need to be more positive on ourselves and our weaknesses of trying to follow him. We can't judge ourselves so harshly. We just need to keep trying. Keep trying to be honest and be kind and say our prayers. Maybe you don't say them all every morning, every night. Well, but maybe you do half the time. And maybe tomorrow you can do a half plus an inch, you know. And eventually you can get it. As long as you want to do it. and Keep a prayer in your heart. Uh, I, I know, Driving is one of the perfect things that God has given us. To show us how to be patient. And how to show love to people. Because isn't it irritating driving around with all these crazy people trying to cut you off or go slow or go too fast, whatever they're doing, and you go, well, ah, ah, learn how to drive, get out of here. You know, you come up with all these things. Some people come up with words that I don't want to use. Uh, but then I, I, I'm trying to learn to say, hey, I've done that. So how can I get mad at him for doing it? Uh I've driven too slow, I've driven too fast, I've cut people off, even if I didn't want to, or I didn't see them. I, I try to say, hey, you've done that, so quit yelling at them for it. Uh, I know one time I was bringing my, my sister to the hospital because she was in really bad shape. Uh, she was bleeding very heavily and having some real problems, and... So I was speeding like a crazy man trying to get her to the hospital because we were living out in the country up in Washington. And, but I got her to the hospital pretty fast. <laughs> you know, I was driving like 100 and whatever miles an hour trying to get there. And I'm sure a lot of people thought I was crazy. So who knows? You don't know what's going on with these people. And it doesn't matter if they're really crazy, jerky people. Don't judge them and try to be nice. So let's... It's a great thing God has given us to say, eh, you got to work on things. <laughs> it's driving around with all the drivers and all the crazy things that happens. And and we're not swearing at them or cussing at them or telling them that, that, that they're so stupid. So, but just try to be better. Uh, do your best. And someday you can see his face and know that he is. And it's only through the Holy Ghost that we know him anyway. Even if you see him, you can't know it unless the Holy Ghost tells you. So without seeing him, you can see his face in his work. You can see his face in the creations. You can see his face as you read the scriptures, even though it might not be this physical face in front of you. And the Holy Ghost will bear witness to you these things. And that is how you know tr truth. That is how you know God. That's how you know Christ. The only way you know them. Yes, I've met. Well, I met Christ. I didn't get to meet God. Got to see him, but I didn't get to meet him. And so it's still, that's not how you know him. Uh, you know him because the Holy Ghost says that's who it is. And so strive to have the Holy Ghost witness to you. And if you've had the witness, even small witnesses, you're doing just great. Just keep it up. I don't know what else to say right now, but don't feel so bad about yourself. Don't get proud, but don't feel so bad about yourself because you're very special. God and Christ knows your name. They know all your problems and they care and they never leave you. Uh, they might not physically be next to you, but there'll be angels there in their stead. But often they will be physically next to you more than you know. And he says, be still and know that I'm God. And he is God. He does care and he does come to you. And don't push him away saying, I'm not worthy. If you have something great happening to you spiritually, accept it because God says you're worthy and you agree with him. So don't push it away by saying that you're not worthy. I have done that too many times, and I wish I had not. So don't you do it, okay? Accept it. 
agree with God when he's giving you something, that you're worthy to have it. Anyway, God is real. I know he's real. I know that he is. And each of you can do the same. Just keep on trying one step at a time. But I bear this witness that he will come to you. He is by you more than you know. He will witness to you of his reality through the power of the Holy Ghost. And it's through that power of the Holy Ghost that I bear this witness to you in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ. Amen.